But yeah, I, uh, I finally managed to uh, get Morrowind to work, which is great. Well, it was working, but uh, I was just having a flicker when I was streaming it. So uh, I think I'm going to kind of do the first uh, intro part of my Let's Play for Morrowind now. Um, so I'm just going to open that up. And uh, I really got to learn how to edit these videos, so you guys don't have to watch all the, uh, the little stupid things that I have to do. I'm just going to make sure this is a window. Uh, what I did, if anybody is having problems with a uh, similar issue, is I got this nifty little program down here uh, called Shift Window. And you just, uh, you have a window, and then you grab it. Like this, grab, grab Morrowind, and then trigger it. And then it uh, essentially puts you in full screen mode of your game. And, uh, yeah, it's just really awesome because, uh, that flicker's gone now. And I guess it was because my game was in, uh, full screen. And, uh, so now it works. I mean, you, you see the little bottom part, but, uh, I'm not really too worried about that. Can't be, uh, I guess entirely perfect, but, uh, the game, when I had it centered anyway, or when I was playing in full screen, uh, it's an older game, so there was borders anyways. Uh, getting it uh, set up, so so uh, I don't know. It's not really too bad. You're, you're kind of seeing full screen, except it's all pushed to the left rather than being in the center and the borders both on on both sides. So uh, I'm gonna get the game started, and you guys can just let me know what you'd like to see. Japan is proceeding now. Of the third area of King Real, a prisoner born on a certain day to uncertain parents was sent in regard to that explanation to Morrowind, ignorant of the role of the most play in the nation's history. They have taken you from the Imperial City's prison, first by carriage and now by boat. To the east, to Morrowind. Fear not. For I am watchful. You have been chosen. Cliff Racer. Wake up. We're here. Here we have Batman. Why are you shaking? Waking me up. <laughs> are you okay? Wake up. But, uh... Stand up. There you go. Jim. You were dreaming. Batman. What's your name? So uh, I'm just going to kind of do an intro to uh, show you guys what the game is, uh, but I would like to almost, I I'm thinking kind of do this again, um, so that you guys can kind of pick pick what I do, and uh, and then I'll kind of just carry that out and do the let's play of it, and uh, hopefully at some point I can get a little camera in the, eh, down here, the mouse doesn't go over there, but uh, I would like to get... Uh, uh, a picture in picture once I kind of learn how to do that uh, in the bottom right so that'll be coming soon which will be kind of kind of more fun because then it'll be like we're playing together but uh, yeah that'll be exciting uh, so I'll probably do this again but uh, I don't know my name will just be uh, uh, Roberto for now but uh, you guys can tell me maybe maybe even what name you think I should have not even last night's storm could wake you. I heard them say we've reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go. This guy's just ripped. <laughs> Everyone in this game's just ripped. Uh, just like Quiet. bulging biceps and everything. This is where you get off. This Come with me. Get off. I hate this guy, but uh, that's why I always hit smart him here at the start and I run past him. Here, I'll get the opportunity. It's coming. Get around these stairs. Oh, oh come on. Oh, yeah. That, uh, I always used to do that. I mean, I've played this game before, and I would just feel like such a baller when he's just like, Oh, I'm all tough, but I run past him because he's just, he's a loser. So this is Seiranin. That's where you start. And, uh, yeah. Be misty little place, I guess. And, uh, gigantic, gigantic bug thing. That's a silt strider. That's how you kind of get around. Um... Because if anybody's played this game, getting around is a total pain in the, uh, a pain in the derriere. Uh, 
but uh, yeah, without further ado, I'm just gonna walk down. This is where they want you. Head down to the dock and I'll show you to the census office. You finally arrived, but our records so don't show from where. This is where you pick your race, where. and uh, you guys can maybe help me pick uh, which race I should play. Um, which I would prefer to not be an Argonian or a Kaji, because if anyone's played Skyrim, uh, it's fine. But in this, uh, you uh, actually, like, the, this game is much more uh, role-played, I find, than Skyrim. Skyrim's kind of generic, whereas this game is kind of just, I feel like, what, just, this game was perfection. If they could make this game with good graphics, like, again, I would, I would buy it in a heartbeat. And I'm actually going to get a, uh, a mod that kind of updates the graphics and the faces, and I think I'll, I'm going to try to mod it a bit so that it's a bit, uh, a bit prettier. But uh, right now, it's uh, it's just the generic game. So the first race uh, up top here is Argonians. They're just like uh, lizard people, I guess. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you're a lizard man. And uh, they get uh, they resist diseases uh, and are immune to poisons and can uh, cast a water breathing spell on themselves. And uh, so they can breathe underwater, which is kind of nice because in this game, as opposed to Skyrim. Uh, there's actually there's actually stuff in the water, uh, which is cool. You, like, you can find treasure, and like, there's caverns sometimes, and, and it's actually kind of useful to have water breathing. And you get some bonuses here to some skills. Uh, you get major and minor skills in this as opposed to uh, Skyrim. Skyrim. Yeah, you do pick skills in Skyrim. But in, anyways, yeah, I'll show you that. After. So uh, I'll try to get through these quick so you guys can see uh, what there is. So then there's uh, Bretons. Uh, Bretons uh, are the same magic. They get a shield spell. Uh, they get resist magic, uh, which is just amazing. Uh, if I had my pick, I'd I'd play a Breton. But uh, if you guys really want to see see me play something else, I'll try something else. Um, and then they've got that Magicka bonus. Uh, and in this, it's a multiplier rather than a flat buff like it is in uh, Skyrim or even Oblivion, I think. Um, so these guys are kind of like magic dudes, uh, like defensive magic guys. Uh, there's the Dark Elf. Dark Elves are kind of, uh, kind of like battle mages in this, like a skirmishy kind of battle mage, like a, like a spell sword. Um, and, uh, they're pretty good, and you are in, uh, you are in their, their, uh, their hometown, I guess. Uh, because, uh... Where am I playing? I think Morrowind's just Morrowind, yeah. Um, so yeah, you you are kind of in uh, the Dunmer or Dark Elf turf in this game, as opposed to uh, the Imperials or the Nords. Uh, then there's the High Elves, just kind of the all-out all out casters who get a really good magic bonus and some re uh, resist disease, but they are just... I don't really like them because you go up against any kind of caster and... Uh, you're just one-shotted, like just bleh, dead. You're 50% weak to all magic, and then an additional 50% to fire. So that's 100. So if someone does like 10 damage, it's like 20. And if they do 50, it's like 100. So it's a really crazy amount of damage. Uh, so I don't... Uh, please don't make me play a high elf. <laughs> just, I hope I get to play a Breton. Uh, Imperials, uh, same kind of guys. They're just kind of like that knight, uh, knight dude that uh, just... He's, He's got a silver tongue, and uh, he just kind of talks his way through things. Uh, Kaji, as always, uh, Eye of Night. Uh, so he's got the night vision and uh, the fear, and he's pretty much just a thief. Uh, and then uh, you've got the Nord, who is uh, a bit of a defensive kind of uh, bruiser. Uh, immune to frost, which in this is really nice. They're just completely resistant to any frost damage, uh, and really resistant to shock. Um, and then they have Woad, which is a shield spell, uh, which reduces uh, physical damage. And then they've got this uh, frost damage touch spell, which is uh, it's okay. Um, then you've got the orc. They've got resist magic as well, and then. Uh, You've got this Berserk spell, which uh, makes you miss a lot, but uh, 
you're stronger, and uh, you have more fatigue to attack and stuff, and uh, you have fortify attack. Which just makes your attacks do more damage. Uh, and then you've got the Red Guard, who is just a total boss. Just uh, this spell alone is just crazy. Um, I don't know if you get to see all of it there, but uh, I think you do. And uh, it is just crazy. You uh, fortify basically all of your stats and uh, basically just beat someone to death. Uh, resistant to poison, which is nice. Um, and you resist common diseases. So, uh, I, I'd play a red guard if you guys wanted to see that. And then there is, uh, the Bosmer, who, uh, lore-wise are kind of creepy. They're cannibals. They, uh, they eat their own kind. They definitely eat people. Um, they've got this Beast Tongue spell, which is, mm, it's okay. Uh, I found when I played it before, kind of, dwindled later on in the game, because you're just like, oh, this doesn't really do anything, do anything. And then the resist disease, uh, which is okay, too. But I'm not really a huge fan of resist disease, and they're just archers. Uh, just clearly made to sneak, uh, to shoot people in the face, and, uh, they do it with light armor, and, uh, and they've got the alchemy, and they've got the acrobatics. Now, alchemy in this game is just potions. There's uh, no, uh, poisons like there is in, uh, in Oblivion in Skyrim. So, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick the Breton for now. So that I can show you the last part of the intro. And, uh... Oh, I just hate the... Some of the faces in this are just bad. <laughs> so I always pick this one, because I find it's just the, uh, the most human-looking one. And, uh, I usually just go bald, because, uh, the hair is sucking this, too. <laughs> But, uh, once again, not really playing this with the graphics so much, it's just how much of an awesome game it is. And just, it's just super cool. Like, I, I hope that you guys really enjoy this, because I've always loved this game. And, uh, when you see some of the crazy adventures I'm going to have, hopefully I think, uh, hopefully you'll like it too. So I want to pick him. Because this would, Great. Uh, I'm be sure you'll fit right in. Follow wolf. me up to the office and they'll finish your release. There's a wolf some years. But, uh... Yeah, this would be kind of my ideal setup, but once again, if you guys want to see something else, or you want to see me some, something a little different, then I'll try that too. So we're going to go into Head the census. In. Oh, <laughs> don't be pushy. I was going. Uh, so this is this nice little, nice little humble abode. It's got some candles. Oh, right. he's moving this. Oh yeah, I got a little bit of movement. So the ah, yes, we've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially escape. released. There are a few mean. ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. So, uh, you can fill out the forms yourself, which uh, I'll probably do once I... Uh, or you can pick pick a class. Uh, this game has a lot of classes. Acrobat, Agent, Archer, blah, 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 blah. Hopefully you guys can see these. But, uh, yeah, there is an extensive amount of uh, pre-made classes that they've got in this game. Which is really awesome that I liked about that. It wasn't so much like, uh, like Skyrim, which was really just kind of generic, made for everybody. It was like you actually had a class, and, and it actually really affects you. Uh, like, at least for the first, like, I'd say 20, 20 levels of the game... Uh, your class really decides what you can and can't do, because if you try to do something that you're not skilled at, uh, you just, it's kind of a face plant. So I'm going to go back, and, uh, and I'm going to do this cool little uh, answer his questions, which is, uh, which is cool. It's just, you pick options, and they give you a class based on what you picked. So here we go. On a clear day, you chance upon a strange animal, its leg trapped in a hunter's claw snare. Judging from the bleeding, it will not survive long. What do you do? So, uh, I don't know, uh, <laughs> I know if it was like a little bunny or something, I'd feel super bad if I just watched him die a slow, agonizing death, and, uh, I think I'd feel bad too if I, if I just straight up stabbed him. I don't know if I could stab a little bunny, because I heard they cry like babies. And, uh, I just feel like I'm stabbing a baby. That's not right. <laughs> you can't stab babies. Uh, so then, uh, I think I'm gonna go with this option. Use the herbs from my pack to put it to sleep, because I'm just that baller that, uh, I can do that. Especially as a Breton. I'm just gonna, uh, make a little, uh, 
Make a little sedation concoction and just weigh him out. Bunnies One toast. summer afternoon, your in, father in gives way. you a choice of chores. That's kind of good way. What would you rather do? So, uh, Dad wants me to go do something. Uh, gather herbs for Mom. Uh, that was maybe cool. That's probably how I found that bunny. But, uh, then I could work in the forge with, uh, with Dad to make a casting for an iron plow. Or I could go catch some fish, which is kind of the lazy man's option. But, uh... I don't know, I'd, I'd be catching some fish, and uh, you gotta eat, right? So, uh, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch some fish. Your cousin has given you a very embarrassing nickname, and even worse, likes to call you it in front of your friends. You have asked him to stop, but he finds it very amusing to watch you blush. What do you do? So, uh, <laughs> my cousin's kind of a jerk. Uh, just, uh... I don't know, he's telling people old, dirty family secrets, so, uh... I mean, beating him up, maybe a little too bit too far, beat up your cousin, and tell him that if he ever calls you the nickname again, you will bloody him worse than this time. Uh, I feel like that's maybe a little extreme, uh... Because, uh, who knows how old my cousin is, he needs, he could be like six or something. So, uh... So, no, I'm not gonna beat him up directly, but, uh... And then, uh, make up a story that makes your nickname a badge of honor instead of something humiliating. Uh, if, if he was calling me Poopy Pants, I don't think, uh, you can't turn that into a badge of honor. Uh, so, so not gonna do that one either. But, uh, uh, this is what I would do. Just, I would make up something even worse. And, and then use it until he's just, he just stops. And just like, I would just, I would go straight for the, straight for the throat. <laughs> Verbally. That'll teach him little jerk there is a uh, lot of heated discussion at the local tavern over a group of people called telepaths they've been hired by certain city-state kings rumor has it these telepaths read a person's mind and tell their lord whether a follower is telling the truth or not you believe what uh, and this I think this is horrible because the king could be a jerk so terrible practice uh, uh, it's necessary evil or, uh, loyal followers to the king have nothing to fear, but if the king is a total douche, not gonna do that. Uh, so I'm gonna say this, because, uh, I don't know, kings, kings are usually jerks. Uh, so, uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that this is just a bad idea, because, uh, who knows what people are thinking. Your mother sends you to the market with a list of goods to buy. After you finish, you find that by mistake a shopkeeper has given you too much money back in exchange for one of the items. What do you do? Alright, so, uh, morality here. Morality question. <laughs> um, I could take the extra money and, uh, say that the shopkeeper is just a jerk, but, uh, I don't know. Back in these days, I feel like that would just be so wrong to do. Because, uh, maybe he needs that money. Maybe he's not overcharging me. And, uh... Put it towards my family. This is a hard question. Because, uh... Return it and explain the mistake. Uh, because it does say hard-earned money. I mean, he's, he's working for his money. So, uh... Decide to put the extra money to good use and purchase items that would help my family. And, uh, I feel like if I did this in real life, uh, my mom would just, whoopsh, you know, just slap me right in the face. Just be like, that was bad. You know, especially if this guy's hurting for money. Uh, never good to be a thief. We all stole that pack of bubble gum and thought that we'd share it with our family members. And then you quickly figured out that your parents just did not like that you did that. So, uh, I'm going to say, give it back. Anyway. Yeah, give it, give it back. While in a marketplace, you witness a thief cut a purse from a noble. Even as he does so, the noble notices and calls for the city guards. In his haste to get away, the thief drops the purse near you. Surprisingly, no one seems to notice the bag of coins at your feet. What do you do? So, uh, I don't know, thief, uh... Definitely not gonna take it because then uh, I'm an accomplice 
and that would be my hand, or both hands, or I could just die straight up. If this was thousands of years ago. So, uh, definitely bad option. I'm gonna get killed if I do that. Uh, pick up the bag and signal to the guard, knowing that the only honorable thing to do is return the money. Uh, and that, I feel like, would be bad, because you might get that jerk guard where you, like, pick up the bag of money, and then he's just like, hey, you stop that! And, uh, you know, all of a sudden he's like, he thinks that I'm trying to steal it, he thinks I'm trying to do this. So I'm not gonna trust, I'm not gonna trust the police either, because, uh, that's never smart. So I'm just gonna leave the bag there, and I'm just gonna not get involved. That's the way to do it. That's the safest. Your father sends you on a task which you loathe, cleaning the stables. On the way there, pitchfork in hand, you run into your friend from the homestead near your own. He offers to do it for you, in return for a future favor of his choosing. What do you do? <laughs> this question always weirds me out. <laughs> I'm like, I feel like I'm paranoid because of uh, this answer. It's like, accept his offer, reasoning that as long as he the stables are clean, uh, it does not matter who does the cleaning. And uh, I just feel like I would clean, like he would clean the stables, and then I would just be like, yeah, sure. I'll give you my soul for one task, and then that task just ends up being like assassinating the emperor, you know? And I'm just like, but you just clean the stables, and he's just like, you said one task. So, uh, I never liked doing that one. And, uh, and pretty much because of this, better not to be in debt. Uh, but then, I would say to help, I would say this, because uh, I'm a team player, I like, I like helping and getting help. So, uh, two people can do the job faster than one, and agree. Uh, and, and I would help with a task, yeah, I would help him with one task of his choosing in the future. That sounds right, because he's not going to do anything crazy. And, uh, if it is, I'll just, uh, I don't know, I'll tell him I forgot. <laughs> that, that always works, just, oh, I forgot what you're talking about, so, uh, bam. Your mother asks you to help fix the stove. While you're working, a very hot pipe slips its moorings and falls towards her. What do you do? All right, protect my mama, of course. Uh, grab the hot pipe. Now, that just seems stupid. Uh, that's how you get like third degree burns, and then you're just crippled for life because you got just burnt mangled hands. Uh, so I don't want those. Burnt mangled hands is not going to help me save the world. Um, position myself. I feel like this is just too much. Like I'm just get crushed by the hot pipe. And, uh, that's just not gonna be a good one either. This is- my whole body is just gonna get burned. So, uh, I'm just gonna be like, alright, Mom, uh, you're gonna be better off this way, and as long as you're not by stairs, pushing you out of the way is just gonna work out great. So, way am I gonna push Mom? While in town, the way. baker gives you a sweet roll. Delighted, you take it into an alley to enjoy, only to be intercepted by a gang of three other kids your age. The leader demands the sweet roll, or else he and his friends will beat you and take it. <laughs> what do you do? Uh, after playing, uh, playing a lot of games, I know that, uh, a team fight while you're solo is just not good. I would just end up getting stomped by these guys, <laughs> and, uh, that's not fun. Especially, like, over a sweet roll. But, uh, but you know how, you know the hot commodity that those sweet rolls are. They're a hot commodity in Damriel. Uh, so, not gonna do this though. Not gonna fight over a sweet roll against three people. Uh, and uh, act like you're gonna give it and throw it up in the air and then just sucker punch him. Uh, I don't know, that might work, but I'm just gonna go with this. This is a safe, awesome option. Right, just give it to him now and then just beat the, beat the tar out of him later with all my friends, and then show him, show him what's up. Who the boss now? And, uh, so this one. Entering town, you find that you are witness to a very well-dressed man running from a crowd. He screams to you for help. The crowd behind him seems very angry. What do you do? This one. This is another one. Those just, uh, don't get involved. If you ever see this happening, just... It's probably better to not get involved, unless it just looks like he's getting chased by a bunch of angry thugs. But, uh, even then, probably don't want to help a guy, because he'll probably just 
you'll probably end up tackling the group, and then he'll just keep running. Uh, that's been my experience when you help people in team fights. <laughs> Is uh, you dive in, they keep running, you die, they live. Uh, so pff, I'm not doing that one. Actually, I am doing this one. This is the one I'm gonna do. So stand aside and uh, just just watch all that run by. And I got a witch hunter, which uh, is a pretty sweet role in this game because there's a lot of evil things to hunt. So uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Oh no, it's not actually. Very good. The letter that preceded you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. And what would that be? Okay, so this is the last part. Picking your sign. Um, the warrior, which fortifies your attack by 10 points. I'm pretty sure this is just uh, your your hit and miss rate. Um, because that uh, that is part of this game. It's not like uh, in Skyrim where it's just like you just kind of spam your weapon and you hit them. It's, uh, it's more kind of chance-based. Uh, so that one's alright. The tower... Uh, this one's okay, but I don't really find it that great. Um, especially once you get a, a lock spell. Or an unlock spell, I guess. You don't really need it. These are all spells you can kind of get on your own. Uh, the thief, this is kind of like your dodge ability, which is good. But, uh, I don't really feel like the best, because, uh, a lot of these are just magic effects. And you can, uh, just recreate them on your own with magic. Fortify speed, uh, same thing. Just uh, another magical effect that makes you a bit faster permanently, but uh, this one isn't really my favorite. The shadow, invisibility. Invisibility really sucks. Uh, if you've ever played in any of the Elder Scrolls games, because it's like as soon as you do anything, you're not invisible anymore. So it kind of gets rid of the, the purpose, because you can't even open a door or sneak off without uh, getting caught. Serpent, uh, you do three points uh, for 30 seconds, so 90. 90 damage, yeah, over uh, 30 seconds on touch, but you also hurt yourself by 30, so uh, I don't really like that, because uh, once again, this is just a spell I can make later on my own. Ritual, turn on dead, uh, and then uh, and then another power where I get to restore health. This is really nice early on, uh, this heal, because you do take significant amounts of damage when you're a noob, because uh, with that whole miss hit thing, you're not always uh, hitting the targets you're after. So uh, then the next one, this is my preferred one because it's uh, magic and like I said all those effects are mostly magic and with more magic you can just, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Uh, magic's really awesome in uh, Morrowind, like it's very diverse in the amount of things you can do with it. So I usually take the mage and uh, I'll be taking it right now. but. Uh, you guys can you guys can kind of decide what you think I should take maybe or maybe you think I'm right and uh, or or I guess maybe not right because it's a matter of opinion but uh, maybe you guys maybe you guys like what I take and uh, I'll just roll that so the lover agility this is kind of like your hit rating again uh, and a paralyze and uh, but this damages your fatigue and this game is horrible because when you are out of fatigue uh, Whenever you get hit, you get knocked down. And hand-to-hand uh, -hand was actually pretty good in this game for that, because you could just uh, literally just beat someone down with your fists, and once they hit, like, zero fatigue, you just beat them down and they were just useless. Which was uh, always kind of funny to, like, just be beating this epic warrior up to death <laughs> with your bare fists, because he just can't get up and you just pummel him to death. The Lord, uh, weakness to fire, hate that. And then a little, a little poopy heal of 60 health. Uh, definitely not worth a permanent weakness to fire because, uh, yeah, that'll just get you destroyed because fire is pretty common. Uh, Fortify. This one's actually pretty good. Uh, I used to take this when I was, uh, when I was a noob because uh, this is just really good. Uh, endurance. Your health is all based off endurance in this game. Uh, you get a percentage per level up. So getting that early endurance is really, really nice. Um, because you just level up really, really, really fast. So, uh, yeah, that's just an awesome, an awesome thing to have. Uh, then you have the Atronach. Uh, the Atronach is one that I kind of like. 
Uh, especially since, um, like, in this game, you would get magic back when you rest. And, uh, and I'm going to get a, mat, uh, a mod so that you get magic back over time. Uh, like it is in, in Oblivion and Skyrim, because that is one thing that I did hate about this game, is the fact that uh, you don't regenerate magic. You actually have to wait. And uh, in combat, that just is not effective, because uh, you basically have like a one-shot kind of mana pool, which really sucks. Um, and then you get the spell absorption, which is really nice. Uh, if you get another 50 points on this, you basically just absorb all magic, but... Uh, I don't know, I, I did that when I played before, and it kind of does feel almost just kind of borderline cheap, because uh, it just makes all magic in the game just it just gives you magic back. But it does give you a gigantic magic pool, which is really nice. But uh, I'll take the magic that comes back, rather than just the big gigantic pool of magic, because uh, I don't find that works too well. And then this one, uh, Fortify Maxima Magica, by uh, our magicka by one and a half which is really nice and but then it gives you this weakness to magicka by 50 percent uh, on the breton this can be good because then you just start off with a really big magic pool and you have about as much resistance as just your average guy but uh magic resist is just really good in this game to get because uh, some of the magic is really strong and will just destroy you so i like to keep that and i just go uh, usually with this because it's a, a perk, and no debuffs, and it's just generally nice, I find. It's just balanced. Interesting. Now, before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. So, this is uh, where I'll be stopping the game right now. Uh, I'll probably be changing up what I do uh, in terms of skills, because uh, skills don't really uh, stack like they do. Uh, like to take light armor and unarmored uh, doesn't really work because uh, then I, I I have two different armor types and that just doesn't really flow too well. Um, so I'll, I'll change these a little bit, but I'll keep it generally a witch hunter uh, unless you guys think I should play something different because uh, witch hunters are dedicated to rooting out and destroying the perverted practices of dark cults and profane sorcery perverts. Uh, they train for martial, magical, and stealthy war against vampires, witches, warlocks, and necromancers. And they specialize in magic. So, uh, as a Breton, that's what I'd be doing. But uh, if you guys have any uh, any other ideas about what you think I should try out, uh, then I would I would definitely be down for that. So, uh, I'm going to stop this here, and you guys can uh, tell me what you think. And uh, maybe you think I should play a different race, or uh, maybe a different class, or have a different sign. Uh, probably a different name. Probably shouldn't. Probably shouldn't have Roberto as my name. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So you guys let me know, and I will continue, and we will get on with our merry adventure. And uh, all right. I'm pretty sure that's it. So I'm gonna stop this now, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this little introduction. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>